I really don't know how to start these YouTube videos. Oh my god, I always find it so awkward in the beginning. I don't know why. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. There you go. It's not that difficult, is it? Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree, so happy you can join me. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. You know, the moment that I thought that I knew everything and that I was right about everything was the moment that I did not know anything at all. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that doing my YouTube channel would be like surrounding France and like things you should know, the French culture, this, 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 but honestly I want to bring it home and make it more real and make it more personal. Um, that's just the feeling of the direction that I'm going in when it comes to this channel, but if you guys have any questions or want to know anything about um, France, visas, things like this, feel free to ask me. Um, however, I think this is a really cool opportunity to express myself. I feel like doing YouTube is like a form of expression and I'm having so much fun doing it and I have no idea what's going on right now to be honest with you. However, I do have these videos and these moments in my life that um, hopefully I look back on and like, you know, smile at it or just appreciate it. So, you know, I'm just sharing that with you guys. Life has a way of like really humbling you. My mindset this past year has not reflected who I am and the values that I hold, if that makes any sense. Um, I think that when I realized why I made certain decisions in my life and be brutally honest on why I made those decisions, it really shows you at the core um, why your life may look like the way it looks. And um, I think I talked in the video before about like blaming other people and stuff like this and really realizing that um, I'm in control and not other people. And situations and circumstances, no matter where I am in the world, who I am around, I am in control of my experience um, or how I react to certain things. Um, and I think that, yeah, my mindset was like... <laughs> I don't know, I, th I just think that, sorry, I know I'm rambling here, but the biggest problem that I've had in my life, like, for this past year has solely been me. I felt like I hit up against so many blocks, and I was kind of fighting everything outside of me and, like, going through a lot of rejection, and I realized that it's no one's fault but my own, and... I can look at different situations, I can look at different problems and blame those problems or blame the person in that situation, but the thing is it's not about the problems or situations, it's my mindset. And if my mindset was one of victimization, if my mindset was one of um, I feel blocked, um, I feel like I don't have this, I feel like I'm not fulfilled in this. Just a bunch of lacking, like a lacking mindset and a mindset where it's like I'm out of control in my lack and um, doubting myself. This mindset can be very toxic. Um, I do think this is important to talk about, just to be honest, because um, I know I'm not the only one in the world who's gone through difficult things in their lives. And if this helps one person, then that's great, um, you know, just knowing that you're not alone. And so, I think things happen for a reason. Um, things happen beyond our control, and um, things happen for a reason, either for the better or, I wouldn't want to say for the worse, but for a learning, a teaching moment. And so, um, I've been really blessed, like I said I think in another video, I've been really blessed to have people in my life that really love me and care about me, but if you are in a mindset where you're the victim and nothing is really going your way, you're blocked, it's just a bunch of lacking, 
and you're kind of fighting on the outside world, you can't really see that love and that care. Yes, it's there, but what's going to show more? The things that you're fighting against, your battles, or people that are just trying to support you? You know what I'm saying? I think it's the battles. And I think that comes into play where it's like the most important people in our lives, the people that we love the most in this world, sometimes we can have a habit of, I don't want to say taking advantage of that love or just not really appreciating it in the moment and not stopping to say, you know what, thank you. I love you. Thank you for being there for me and let me be there for you, you know? I think sometimes in life we can get very distracted by our own problems and think that we're the only persons, person in the world. And I'll admit that, like, I've had a very selfish mindset where it's like, everything is against me and, you know, and it's like, humble myself. Like, I'm not that important. <laughs> I'm the most important person in my life. If I don't take care of me, how can I take care of anything else? However, I'm not the only person and everybody else around me has their own lives and they're the most important people in their own lives and they have to take care of themselves just like I do. I'm not the number one thing on people's minds and you just gotta humble yourself, you know? And um, so that was a part of it. However, yes, I think that, um, I don't know, I just had this like epiphany and I had some help with this epiphany. That's why it's good to talk to people that can talk to you and give you feedback, not necessarily give you, telling you what you want to hear, but things that they can see from the outside that you're doing that you can't see yourself because you're just deep in it, you know? That's why it's good to really talk to people and ask for help and just be vulnerable with, with your situation in life because people are there, they care about you, they love you, and if you just reach out and ask for help, they'll be there. And um, so basically, I was kind of shown certain behaviors and decisions that I've made. And I keep saying, but that's not me. That's not me. But that's what I'm putting out there. That's what my actions are showing. And I realized, like, wow, like, I felt so lost. So lost in myself so lost. Who am I? What's my standing? What's my purpose? What am I here for? What am I learning? What am I giving back? What am I doing for others? How am I being a contribution? How am I thinking outside of myself? You know? And I looked at my patterns of behavior and decisions that I made and thoughts that were going on and I realized that those thoughts, that energy kept me feeling stuck. It really did. And your inside world reflects your outside world. I strongly believe that. And I feel like I woke up to myself. I don't know if this is like making any sense, but I feel like I woke up to myself and I'm like, oh my God, this past year has been like one of the hardest times in my life thus far to date that I can think of. The most challenging, the most teaching um, year for me, uh, an opportunity for me to learn about myself and the way things work. And I look back and I'm just like, oh my god, that wasn't me, that's not, that's not in my soul, that's not in my heart, that's not my integrity, that's not my being, you know? I was just very reactive to the outside that I lost who I was on the inside. And that is a recipe for disaster. A recipe for disaster. So I realized, okay, I can't control anybody on the outside of me. I don't want to. People should be free to do whatever they want, live their life free and happy, just like I should live my life free and happy. We all deserve to be happy. We all deserve to come home and feel safe and feel relaxed and have good energy surrounding us. We all deserve that. So I realized it's not so much about the people outside of me, but about myself. What am I doing every single day to show myself that I love myself? If I say I love myself, how do I show that? 
by putting positive messages inside of my mind when it comes to my thoughts, when it comes to things that I take in. Maybe not so many reality shows, but maybe more some motivational speeches. I love Will Smith. Um, <laughs> and also, that energy that I felt was kind of going everywhere, that wasn't really directed, I felt out of control. Taking that energy and directing it towards specific goals of mine. One of them, which is YouTube, which I'm doing right now. Do you feel my energy? Do you feel my energy? <laughs> um, yeah. Towards what do I want to do here in France? What is my objective? What's my objective in life, in family, in love? And directing my energy towards those areas. And in that way, I gain control of my energy, of my emotions. Because sometimes we can feel like we're out of our, we, we're like out of control of our emotions. Like, if something makes you angry, it makes you upset, why? Why? Be honest with yourself. I had to be honest with myself. I was really triggered.